Squirt, squirt up on that scene. Hop out engine looking clean. All right, what's up, guys? Poison here. We're back from another episode of Quick Play. We're still playing Metro Last Light. Um, yesterday, I talked about the new plans coming to the channel for Sundays. Um, today, I'm here more to talk about just a, a random game that has nothing to do with the channel. And after playing a few Kingdom Hearts, I mean, like, yeah, obviously story wise, but you know, the games are long. If you really want to get a synopsis for the story, you could simply just um, look up like story and all that stuff. You know, you could look up story, uh, cutscenes, or the lore and everything, and then you could jump into tree. You know, that's super sh shitty. Obviously, if you're into the games, don't do that. But some people have suggested that if you really want to play Kingdom Hearts 3, but you want to know the story, just look up videos and stuff. And I'm like, nah, dude, I already own Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 on a PS4. I might as well play through them. You know, it gives me a lot of time, and then I could buy Kingdom Hearts 3 once I'm done. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm like, okay, let's just play through Kingdom Hearts 1. I owned the game for, for pretty much a year now. Never really played it until now because I didn't really have space on my PS4 to even play. But, um, I'm playing through Kingdom Hearts 1, and first off, I don't remember ever going to Alice in Wonderland, or to going to Wonderland with Alice in Wonderland, you know? Um, I don't ever recall going to Wonderland Land. Um, the first time I played the game, because I did play originally on PS2 when it came out. But I remember going from the first world to Tarzan, not to Wonderland. So this playthrough, it, they're talking about like, oh, um, the game was telling me, like, I just remembered it's like, yeah, um, you could see different difficulty levels. If you have a one star, you know, it's not that difficult. The more stars, the more difficult the world is. So, ooh. Ooh, cheeky. Let's grab that. I do love playing as re with revolvers. They're just cool weapons. Um, but yeah, you know, they're like, yeah, the more stars the level has, the harder it's going to be. So there was a level to the bottom, which I'm going to assume is Tarzan. And then there's the level to the top, um, which was Wonderland. One more. Come on. Quit fucking hopping back and forth. Take the shot. Take the L, fam. This guy took the fucking shot like a champ. Goddamn. So, um, yeah, I decided to go to Wonderland because it's like, oh, this one's going to be a little bit easier. And, you know, Wonderland's been decently easy. I get to the first boss. Dude, holy fucking shit am I trash at Kingdom Hearts. Like... I cannot fight the boss for the life of me. I keep fucking dying to it. And I'm like, dude, this game is not that difficult. And I could have put it on easy. I could have put it on hard. I left it on normal. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to bitch out. We're going to play this game on normal. You know, I'm saying if you played on easy, you know, not talking shit about you, but I'm just saying I feel it'd be me bitching out if I were to play it on like easy. I'm like, okay, let's play normal. It shouldn't be that hard. Dude, this fucking boss in the Wonderland stage is the most fucking like, I don't want to say impossible, but it's the most, like, difficult thing I've done in the game. It's the most fucking headache-inducing fucking battle. And it's like, dude, I need to beat this game, honestly. I cannot just bitch out and be like, oh, I never beat it. Does this gun have that? Oh, this has a silencer. We'll keep the silencer one, then. Shit, that red dot would have been nice, but these sights are still pretty good. And then here's where we would have ended up had the tunnel been uh, fixed by the dude, but we killed him. I don't think we can do anything over here. Nope. Yeah, see, it takes us all the way back. We're going to fall through, and we're going to go back to the way we came. But, yeah, just playing this game, I'm like, dude, this game is not as... Like, why, why is this game more difficult now? I thought this game would have been more difficult as a child, but no. Playing it as a 22-year-old is more difficult. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with me? How can I not beat this? Like, you know, like... I mean, I hate to compare the two games, but it's like, come on. I'm playing Bloodborne with relative ease, but I can't fucking play Kingdom Hearts without fucking wanting to kill myself. Like, not really. Not really. I'm not going to kill myself over a game, but I mean, like, you know, just just figuratively speaking, it's like, come on. How is this game that difficult? What the fuck? And it's probably not that difficult. I'm probably super fucking trash. I don't know, but it's like, dude, come the fuck on game, like. And then, like, we were doing the first part in the Lost Forest or whatever it is. And fucking Donald keeps dying. Goofy's fucking up. I'm like, dude, come on now. I lived through that. But then we get to the boss. And it's like, yeah, I have no fucking chance at this game. Which, honestly, I'm not going to give up. That's the thing. I don't really give up on games unless it's like... The only time I give up on games 
is when I'm doing it on the channel where it's like, all right, this this video isn't getting views or whatever. Then it's like, okay, I'll I'll give up on this game and I'll move on to another game people will watch or, you know. But it's like, I don't, truthfully, I don't give up on games. It's just not how I am. Like, I try to see games all the way through. They released gas. Are you playing serious? Come on, these guys would all be dead had I fucking been on Xbox. How is it that the Xbox controller is a little bit bigger, but this fucking controller makes me stretch my hands a little bit more? Do I have enough med kits? Can I still make it off someone? Can I still ammo off people, dude? Come on now. These guys have to have ammo. Yep, there's one right there. Hold up. I like how these guys see a situation. They're like, oh no, we might not live. Quick, let's fucking gas the place. Like, you know, if we can't breathe, they can't breathe. It's obvious. And actually, I want to give an update, too, on uh, Forza Horizon 4. Um, this weekend, I, or the past few live streams I've been doing, I've been trying to go for specific goals. Um, I was trying to buy um, um, a house to help me get more Forza Thon points. And I finally have enough money to buy it. But then I'm seeing it, and it's like, I have 5 million credits. That's not a lot, but it's a decent amount of credits, you know? And I'm seeing, and I'm like, dude, I got the 5 mil credits I need for this house. But then I'm also seeing it, it's like, oh, um... If you buy the VIP package for the game, you get the house for free. I'm like, okay, VIP, that's not bad. I'm like, how much is VIP? VIP costs $20. I'm like, dude, that's that's not a lot of money. But I'm like, that's a lot of money compared to what I'm going to do. I'm like, dude, I'm going to buy the uh, the ultimate edition of the game, which costs $80. And that's going to be coming within next month. I'm like, dude, next month I'm going to spend 80 on the game anyways to get the ultimate edition, which comes with VIP anyways. But seeing it, I'm like, dude, I'm not going to spend $20 to get this house for free and then have to pay $80 again. Because, you know, unfortunately, Xbox isn't like Steam, where if you buy a DLC, when you buy the bundle, you get a discount. You, you're, I'm still stuck paying $80. So I'm like, I'm just like, fuck, dude, I guess I'll hold off on the house. Thankfully, I'm going to have enough points to purchase the uh, the car I want. So that's good. Yeah, I'll be able to purchase the car I want, but it's like, you know, it's like, fuck, dude. I'm not going to spend the money I have on the house, and I'm not going to spend $20 and have to pay $80 again to get the same DLC anyway, so I'm like, whatever. I'll be able to afford the house, I just guess, um, or I'll be able to afford the car, I guess I'll just get the house later. It's just, you know, it's like, after all this grinding and stuff, and I found a way to make money easily, but like not super easily, you know, you still got to work for it, but still like, you know, I found a good way to get money. And it's like, fuck dude, I'm going to end up not having to fucking, um, I'm not gonna be able to purchase this thing right now. Is this the right way to go? No, it's not cool. Let's go. But that's pretty much, you know, fucking all topic I have. Is there a gun? Is it ammo? It's a gun. I have no idea where I'm going. We opened up something. All right. Well, anyway, I'll see you guys there. Have an awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.